Welcome to this video. When you install Clear SCADA, a range of symbols is available in the symbol library. This exercise teaches you how to use one of the predefined pump symbols to animate a mimic. First, let's add the pump. Open the mimic symbol library. Symbol library index and switch to run mode. On the symbol library index mimic, click the pumps group. This acts as a hyperlink to another mimic that contains all of the pump symbols. Click the pump symbol named pump A1. Notice that pump A1 mimic is highlighted in the database pane. Open the pump A1 mimic in design mode, right click the pump symbol in the pump A1 mimic, and select the copy option from the context sensitive menu. Return to the Reservoir Mimic, right-click in the Design area, and select Paste from the menu. A copy of the pump symbol is added to the Reservoir Mimic. A copy of the pump symbol is added to the Reservoir Mimic. Position the pump symbol as required and close the pump mimic. The next stage in drawing the mimic is to animate the pump to reflect whether it is running or stopped. To do this, we will use the flowchart editor. Right-click the pump symbol on the mimic and select animations. For the polyfill select fill color animation and then press the flowchart button. The sets of groupings in the animation list are used in place of the simple fill, font, pen, and line groups. This is to provide individual control of the properties of these items when the group may contain multiple types of objects. In this case, the pump is made up of multiple objects, so the polyfill group is used. Now press the flowchart button. Right-click on the zero box and select Insert from the menu. Double-click the decision block and in the window displayed browse to find the running point. This is the decision point that evaluates which result should be returned. If the expression in this block is evaluated as true, the true branch is executed. Similarly, if it's a false value then the false branch will be executed. Note that if we didn't select a property from the point, that means by default the selected property is the value. Double-click the box at the bottom of the decision box. Select the Browse button on the right side, and then choose Red from the Color tab. Now, select the box in the True branch, and make the color green. You can notice that the flow chart is replaced with an IF statement. The structure is as follows. IF EXPRESSION, TRUE VALUE, FALSE VALUE. If you know the format of the statement and the results that you require, you can enter the statement directly. It's important to make sure that you enabled override property in your internal point. Now put the mimic in run mode and verify that the pump changes color when you toggle the running point. Now using the skills learned so far to complete the mimic, create a program to look like the attached exercise in the materials. And also, feel free to ask us any questions in the comments section. We recommend you try this exercise by hand. See you next time.